Hi again, I'm Stephen Wester, CEO of Predictive ROI, and hey, it's springtime, <laughs> finally, here in Wisconsin. So for this week, I wanna tackle a topic about why one piece of Cornerstone content each week when if you're an ambitious and high achiever and in a business owner who really wants to grow the business, logic might say, gosh, instead of doing one piece of Cornerstone content each week, like a podcast episode or a YouTube series or a blog post or some other form of big, meaty, super helpful piece of content, maybe I should be doing that daily. Maybe I should be doing a daily video series and a daily podcast and putting out a daily blog. When the reality is, is that you can actually get more mileage and be more helpful to your audience by doing one piece of super helpful cornerstone content, super helpful piece of cornerstone content each week. And that available time into your schedule, back into your schedule, actually gives you the ability to do other things, which I'm gonna cover here in just a second, and it also forces discipline. So let's talk about the discipline first. First, by having one piece, that means 52 iterations of that across a year, mapping to your editorial calendar. We've talked about that in YouTube videos before, but it also forces the discipline to make sure that every single episode matters. Every single guest matters. Every single interview you do matters. It needs to contribute to the editorial calendar. The Dream 25 as your guest, every single one of those people needs to matter for your audience, that they're super helpful to your audience. And if you're following the Dream 25 and the Trojan Horse strategy, that it directly ties into biz dev. You have no wiggle room. Right, you have 52 slots. You have 52 opportunities in your editorial calendar. So every single episode that you air and share with your audience has got to be helpful. So by having one per week, it forces discipline and that's a very good thing. Second thing is, Having that available time back into your calendar frees you up to focus on biz dev, give you the opportunity to focus and develop deeper relationships with your Dream 25, be even more helpful on a personal level to your Dream 25. It gives you the ability to run point on biz dev, who, which you as the owner need to be running point on biz dev in your business. You have the opportunity to be the most excellent in your business at BizDev. So now dialing it back to one episode a week, that gives you the opportunity to be more helpful with BizDev. Uh, third, it also gives you the ability to be a better leader in your business, right? I hear from business owners all the time, oh, I'd love to do mentorship with my team. I'd love to have one-on-ones with my employees or my direct reports. Oh, I'd love to do the visioning and the missioning and the, the purpose thinking, all that high-level thinking. But gee, Stephen, I just don't have the time. Well, this removes that excuse. This gives you the ability back, or it gives you time back into your schedule to be able to invest on those things that nobody else is going to do. Sure, yes, absolutely, you can rationalize it that your leadership team is gonna give you input and that kind of stuff, but this removes the excuse and puts time back into your schedule to get that high level thinking work done. Quadrant two, as Stephen Covey so masterfully wrote in Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Okay, so then there's a fourth piece. Having that additional time back in your schedule gives you and your team the ability to think more strategically about how to slice and dice each one of those episodes or videos or blog posts or whatever so that one piece of Cornerstone content becomes 40, 50, 60 pieces of additional smaller pieces of content that you can share channel agnostic across all channels to give your audience the impression that you're everywhere with your content, with your thought leadership, when in reality you created one piece of really good stuff, super helpful stuff, and then you sliced and diced it across all of these other different channels and took that at a very small level and we're distributing that across many channels. So that's my rationality, that's my strategy, that's our strategy here at Predictive ROI and how you can get so much value out of one piece of Cornerstone content and being able to share that with your audience on a consistent basis. I hope that you found that helpful. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Write me your questions in the comments fields below. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, we'd love to have you, please do so. Look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, Onward with Gusto.